Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a surprise video. I hadn't planned on posting anything just now, but as I was going through a resale shop, I ran across these old official G.I. Joe trading cards uh, with the date stamp of 1991. Uh, they were really cheap, and I'm totally going to open these. I thought it would be fun to open these up and see what cards I get. I hope I get a Stalker, since he's my favorite. Uh, of course, saying that outside of the G.I. Joe context would sound kind of weird, uh, but I do hope I get a stalker. I don't normally go for trading cards, it's just not my thing, but I thought it'd be fun to open these up and see which random cards we get. Let's start with this one here, and let's open this thing up and see what we get. Of course, these have been sealed since 1991, and we're going to peel the wrapper off exposing them to the air for the first time and we have sci-fi not the version one sci-fi but sci-fi there we go we have special missions comic book cover i like that that's a good cover too with snake eyes very nice oh and there's voltaire on the back or voltar uh we've got firefly gi joe honor roll my goodness he should be in the honor roll firefly uh great figure Wish that character had been used more uh, in the comic book, especially in the early days, because I did like this version 1 uniform on him. Uh, we've got the Attack Cannon, the Flak. Not the most spectacular of weapons, but uh, nice that it got its own little card there. Uh, we have another G.I. Joe comic book cover. Uh, I forget which issue that is, but, um, oh, issue number 4. Uh, there's Snake Eyes on the back there. Uh, nice. Of course, I like the artwork on those early G.I. Joe comic book colors, covers. Uh, there's Thunder. Thunder, and there he is on the back. Uh, the driver of the slugger. Payload. Astronaut guy. Um, not so much into the astronauts, but nice that Payload got a card there. Dusty, another classic great character. Nice to see Dusty. Happy to get Dusty card. Very nice. Ronald W. Tater. Dusty. Beautiful. The artwork on this card, these cards are not bad. It's uh, basically, you know, comic book um, art. So, looks good. Uh, there's a Cobra Viper. Gotta have your basic Cobra Viper, of course. Uh, and now we have, ah, yep, there he is. The man himself, Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes, original G.I. Joe team. A little profile of them on the back here. I'll have to read through these and see if there's any difference between uh, these and what's on the file cards. Uh, so Snake Eyes, you know, that's got to be a popular one. Um, another G.I. Joe Special Missions cover. Uh, and another pretty good cover there with uh, Tunnel Rat, Airtight, and Spearhead. Uh, and then we have the Attack Cruiser. That 90s vehicle that I do not have yet. Uh, the Attack Cruiser. Wow, okay. So, um, some interesting cards there. Uh, some good ones, some mediocre ones, uh, some that I am really interested in, some that I'm not. Uh, so that was our first deck. We did not get a Stalker, so let's open the second one and see if we get a Stalker. Now for the second pack. Let's open this guy up and see which ones we get. I wonder if we'll get any duplicates. Um, I have no idea uh, which of these cards are common and which are rare, or if there are any rare ones. Uh, but let's see. Ah, uh, we've got a good one right off the bat, the Snow Serpent. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Snow Serpent. Looking really good there. I like that a lot. Um, and the Ice Saber. Uh, still pretty cool. Uh, not a bad Cobra Snow Vehicle. Um, and it's not Stalker, but we've got Stalker on the cover of G.I. Joe's Special Missions. Uh, so there's that. Uh, Voltar, the honor roll. Uh, I'm not as sure he should be on the honor roll as Firefly. Firefly definitely should be. Voltar, maybe. There's Voltar. Um, the rapid fire motorcycle, the Ram. Uh, one of my favorites from 1982. So I'm always happy to see the classic vehicles. Now we have another G.I. Joe comic book cover. This is the cover from Tanks for the Memories, uh, which I believe also had the first mention of Springfield as the secret Cobra base. Um, so 
uh, G.I. Joe comic book cover. We have Deep Six in looks like his version 2 uniform. I did very much like that uniform, so it's nice to have his card. Next we have, of course, Duke. I guess you gotta have Duke. Um, that's a pretty good character, and I'm not so sure about the artwork on the back there, uh, but the artwork on the front is fine. Looks like Duke. Nice to have Duke. Uh, we have the Lamprey. Uh, does not look like the version 1 Lamprey. Uh, I think there was a version 2 Lamprey, so this must be based on that. The Lamprey. Uh, not too spectacular there, but we have another classic important character, Scarlet. No Stalker yet, but uh, we got a Duke, we got a Snake Eyes, we got a Scarlet. We do have a bunch of very important characters, though. So that's not bad. There's Scarlet. And uh, we got another Special Missions cover, and this is a great cover with Shockwave on there. Uh, looking good, looking excellent. Um, and then finally, last, um, and I guess probably least, we have General Hawk. Not my favorite version of Hawk, um, but what this means, being the last card, means we did not get a Stalker in either of these two sets. Here are my favorite cards out of the ones we got. Uh, does anybody collect these cards? I don't know if these are important to anyone or not. I just thought it'd be fun to open some, especially since I was able to find them cheap. Uh, too bad I didn't get a Stalker. Maybe I will get some more. They, that store where I got them uh, had a few more, and they were all really cheap, so I might just pick up another couple sets and see what we get. So, uh, what do you think of these cards? Did you ever get them way back in the day? Did you get them in the early 90s? Uh, do you collect them now? Do you have any favorites? Uh, do you have any that you don't like? Uh, let me know. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I will see you next time.